This is my balsa wood catapult. It's made completely of balsa wood, hot glue, uh, some string, and two quarter inch thick dowels. What you will need will be two four inch by one quarter inch by four feet sheets of balsa wood that you can find at Michael's, and also a four foot by three inch by a quarter inch sheet that you can also find at Michael's. Lastly, you're going to need one of those uh, packets of balsa wood. It is sold as uh, a big bag of different sizes, and they have pieces that are about seven inches long and two uh, large blocks in them. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to cut the four inch by four feet by a quarter inch uh, sheets of balsa wood in half lengthwise. So what you're going to get, you're going to get two two inch pieces that you can wood glue, use wood glue to glue together. So after you have glued both of the two long pieces together, you can cut them into 15 inch, 15 inches, and 8 inches. After you have cut the pieces into 15, into two 15 inch pieces and two 8 inch pieces, you can glue it together to have a base similar to this. You want just the outside going up and back over. To add stability after gluing the four pieces together. And you have to make sure and be careful that when you're gluing the pieces, you want the shorter end on the inside because when these strings are going to pull together, it's going to need to push on this inner one so that it doesn't just slip and crush together. So I used four of these little quarter inch by quarter inch by two inches uh, sticks of balsa wood to place inside the little uh, intersection so that there's more stiffness laterally. After I made the base, I added on these pieces here. And you can't see this one, but this one right here. Those are to add uh, durability to the uh, dowels because when you spin them, they're going to crush in and bite into it. So you need to have two two pieces of balsa wood. For my project I had to use only one stick of glue so instead of gluing them together I drilled holes through them through all of the pieces, all of these pieces here and then put a dowel through it and then that held it together pretty well so that I did not have to use glue. And I put one, two, three, four holes on it so it holds together pretty well. You don't need to use glue, but if you are going to drill it, you have to make sure that it's going to be clean holes and that you can stick a dowel through because if you screw up, you might split the balsa wood. After I made these um, pieces added on to the just the regular two quarter inch pieces laid side by side, I had to drill a hole for the dowel to go through. You can see that there's a hole that the strings go through all the way to the center. So what I used was I attached a very, you could either use a very large drill bit, like more than a quarter inch, like a half inch, or you could use something that will gouge into the balsa wood. Um, my, I used, I believe, a half an inch, because you need to fit in uh, very many strings so that you can twist the catapult arm and shoot the object that you want to shoot. So after I drilled these two holes, one here, uh, and you have to make sure that you make it the same distance from here to here as from here to here. So you have to make sure that it will be a straight line for the strings to go through the throwing arm. The next thing that I did was I added on this piece here. This is so that after the catapult arm will be held down with your two eye, eye hooks with a nail and you pull out the nail. It will come shooting up and you need to make sure that it stops there. You, if you have it go further, it will shoot the object into the ground and you won't get anywhere. It won't go very far. 
So I used the pieces from my assorted kit of balsa wood that I bought at Michael's to uh, make this little stop here. All of these pieces, I believe, are 7 inches long. And since this piece here is 8 inches, it worked out very well because each of these sticks are a half an inch. So this leaves 7 inches here to uh, bridge the gap um, to stop this. Also, since you're going to have to have a catapult with which will eventually make quite a bit of force, stop by just a few pieces of balsa wood, you really have to reinforce it. And these are two of the pieces of the four feet by quarter inch by four inch sheets that I began with but did not use in the end. So you're definitely you're gonna have extra of the four feet pieces that you bought and you have to use that any way you can to make it more stiff. Another example of me using them would be on the bottom. Since the string is pulling it in together you have to make sure that it doesn't bow in because you're not going to get any uh, any strength out of that. It's just going to snap. So as I was testing it, I had kept adding these extra support beams to limit the bending and uh, increase the durability and uh, life of this. Finally, I strung the throwing arm. Uh, for the throwing arm, I used uh, also another thing you have to buy, which is a quarter inch by three, quarter inch by four foot uh, piece of balsa wood. Um, this goes, you can see that's the piece that you need to buy. It's a quarter inch, uh, basically a quarter inch rectangular prism that goes all the way down. And to increase the stiffness of the throwing arm, I added on two pieces of balsa wood. That's going to come from uh, one of the long four-foot sheets that you have. You may not end up with as much uh, extra as I had because I was pretty uh, careful with cutting them because I did not want to break them. I didn't have very much resources. So that's the way you can really add up the stiffness. And then one flaw that I found um, was that obviously this isn't going to hold anything. You need to have a cage of some sort to make sure that it can hold on to the object that you want to throw. So I glued that on with hot glue. Um, so you could have a remote uh, triggering distance. I put two eye hooks. You can see one there and one there. And you can put a nail through it and it tie the nail to a string. And then when you're far away you can go like this and then it will go bam. So. That's just, you don't need to do that, and you can always hold it down with your hand. It just kind of makes it more interesting. That's the main reason I put it on. So finally, I'm going to have a link in the uh, description to a guy that helped me string mine, uh, my throwing arm. It's got a great description, very helpful. I used about eight strings worn, uh, woven around, and it's just regular twine, stuff you tie up your newspapers with when you go to recycle them. Um, I added a few uh, modifications later on, but it got me an A in the project, so that's really all that matters as long as it works for the project you're golden. Alright, I'll wind it up and you guys can see what it looks like.